I'm Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter. Today, we're in one of the most dangerous places in Australia, and it's not the outback. That's right, Steve. It's the backyard barbecue. The dangers here are endless. You have to be on your guard at all times. Look out, Steve. Duck. That's a chicken, you goose. Another dangerous creature in the backyard is the redback. I've never seen one that big before, Steve. Redbacks get really cranky if provoked. Don't touch him, Steve. Ah. Don't touch him. Piss off. Oh, no. Steve's down. Again. Steve, can we eat now? OK, Terry. Let's get back to the barbie. Steve, look out. Ah. Oh, no. Steve's down. Again. Looks like no sausage for him. Or for me. Anyway, until next time, I'm Terry Irwin. Right, I'm Steve Irwin. He's a crocodile hunter. Welcome back as we sneak through the highlights of this year's footy show. Let me introduce you to the Channel 9 makeup room, and it's really uh, fantastic. <laughs> Reg loves this joint. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we're total professionals on this show, whether we're in the studio, we're out on shoots, always well rehearsed, always seamless. Have a look at our fearless leader here. He's on a trampoline, everything's great and gone. Oh. I mean, that's... And I tell you, look at the sympathy from the boys. I'll tell you how bad I was going. Mario was talking to me and I could understand him. That's how bad I was going. <laughs> At the end of this, uh, someone's going to win a fantastic prize at the end of the year. A Mitsubishi... <laughs> <laughs> a big, a big Fuso truck from uh, Mitsubishi. <laughs> now, uh, you might have noticed during that ad, uh, just a bit of footage of the Chief. Uh, it's almost like he was maybe expecting uh, something from Reg there. Just watch him <laughs> covering up uh, just a little bit early. <laughs> Now, we'll be, we'll be able to show you why he was doing that, because just before that, this had happened. <laughs> yeah, painful, some of those. Oh. And Chief's still affected. Don't worry about that. Now, through the year, we've had thousands of funny guys on the show. And... One not so funny guy. What's worse than poo? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> That's it. Hey, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sometimes you get toilet paper and you blow your nose with it. A piece of toilet paper probably considers itself lucky. <laughs> I had a great day today. Uh, I went to a, uh, a bird sanctuary, or brothel, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to see that? I'd love to see that, like an Indian in a porno. Oh, I'm telling you what, I want to give it to you. <laughs> Summer comes as a surprise every year in Australia. Go, Jeez, it's warm, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you warm? They always ask you if you're warm just in case they've got a fever or something. <laughs> Are you warm? Hey? Warm. Hasn't been as warm as this since last year. <laughs> you know what makes me really sick? Everyone thinks that Kung Fu comes from Japan or China. It's not true. Kung Fu started here. My people invented Kung Fu. It started like this long, long, long time ago. There were these two little boys from boomerangs around. <laughs> Catch on their leg behind their back. They were doing some fancy boomerang style. You, you had a dragon style, there's boomerang style. And the two, while they was throwing their boomerangs around, there was an old man sitting about 20 meters away, sitting around a small campfire with a goanna cooking on it. And the two little boys kept throwing their boomerangs around. And they had traditional names like Jan and Jackie, or Jackie Jan, Jan, Jackie, whatever. <laughs> And one of the little boys, he threw his boomerang that hard when he let go and released it, the wind changed direction and blew the boomerang towards the old fella. Bang, hit him in the back of the head, knocked him down. The old guy got up rubbing his head like that. He reckoned, all right, which kung fu that? <laughs> Hello, 
He's a centre called Willy Tonga. Had a shower with him, his was longer. <laughs> <laughs> AFL's a funny game, isn't it? It is. Mm. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? The only game in the world I know has got four posts. <laughs> Every other game's got two posts. You've got to get the ball in between the two posts. If you don't get in, you don't get anything. <laughs> AFL, they'll give you something for getting near enough. <laughs> <laughs> you kick the ball and go, did it go in? And they go, no, but uh, we can see what you're trying to do. <laughs> I was once stranded on a desert island with Elle McPherson. True story. And, uh, we were there alone, me and Elle. I didn't try and crack onto her. You know, I was a gentleman. You know, I uh, caught the food and uh, built a little hut for her. And me and a wild guy concreted the island. And <laughs> bit of pebble creek, nice finish. And uh, anyway, after a couple of weeks, she went up to me and said, Vince, she said, uh, you know, look, I'm the best looking chick in the world. How come you haven't tried to, you know, hey, ya? Uh. I said, oh, look, I'm shy. I'm just trying to be nice. She said, forget it, Vince. There's no one here. It's just you and me. Come on, I'll get horny too. Come on, let's do it. So, so we did it. And uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> and the next day we did it again. Then we started doing it a couple of times a day. Pretty soon, any time I wanted it, hey, Al, hey, <laughs> on, you know. Well, anyway, uh, this went on for weeks and months. And uh, one day she woke up, Al, she turned over and said, Vince, she said, this is great. Not only... Uh, were you a gentleman to me in the beginning? But I, I love having sex with you. I think you're fantastic. As a matter of fact, Vince, I think I love you. Is there anything I can do for you? I said, well, thank goodness for asking. There's something I'm dying to do. Well, she said, name it, Vince. I'll do whatever you want. I said, all right. I want you to get dressed up as a bloke. She goes, ooh, I didn't think Vince was like that. So anyway, yeah, all right. So she gets dressed up as a bloke, stands behind the tree. I walked over, I went, mate, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Great fun. Now, he's still got no talent time gold, more reg, a oh. tribute to the fat man. In fact, oh. fat, I've got to say, when you were down and out, plenty yeah. of high-profile messages came in. Oh. <laughs> Fatty, it is so good to have you back, mate, and with any luck, this little incident has knocked some sense into you. <laughs> hey, yes. for a minute there, I thought you were gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. Uh, it is good to see you back, but, Chief, you're still my favourite. And, now. Fatty, I'd like just to say, mate, that everything is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> He's got his sumo suit on too. <laughs> <laughs>